Time for dinner. We are having Parmesan white wine chicken pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and kale. We will need Parmesan cheese, <laughs> kids, uh, chicken breast. This is Moscato, but you can use any dry white wine. This is just what I have in my fridge right now. Some beautiful sun-dried tomatoes in oil, kale, onions, garlic, and our pasta. And then I'm going to add some milk um, to kind of make the cream sauce out of it. I'm using uh, dairy-free milk, oat milk, to make the sauce because I do have a dairy-free child in our house. So I am going to use milk instead of heavy cream or half and half. the chicken so I put garlic powder onion powder and Italian seasoning to that flour with some salt just to give some good flavor to the chicken before I sear it off in the pan I have about four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of olive oil in that pan and I'm just gonna sear off the chicken done all the way. It's not done. Um, I'm just giving the color and getting some good caramelization on that flour and getting some good uh, bits on the bottom of the pan to make our sauce with later. So I'm taking that out and then I'm going to start the next batch. it first and I just was it was not working so I ended up grabbing my garlic press and putting it through that instead I'm adding in a little bit of the dredging flour that was left over and I know yes it touched raw chicken but we are cooking it so as long as it gets over 165 degrees you really don't need to worry about that raw chicken so I added the rest of that bottle of white wine um, you don't have to use white wine for this it does give it a good flavor um, but you can use just chicken stock instead. I added in some milk just to make it nice and smooth and a smooth sauce. I added the chicken back to the pan, let it cook for a little bit, and then um, took it out. And now I'm adding the Parmesan cheese, which is about a half a cup. Uh, a cup of kale and a half a cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes and then a ladle full of my pasta water that's off to the side there is probably about a half a cup and then I'm going to put the chicken back in the pan so I'm finish cooking it all the yummy juices covering the lid and then I'm going to cook it for probably another 10 minutes or so just until that chicken is done. I gave it a flip So the pasta that I'm using is cavatappi, I think that's how you say that. It's like a corkscrew style macaroni noodle, or a long macaroni noodle. Um, you can do this with spaghetti, that's how I've seen it. Uh, but I didn't have any spaghetti, I had this, and this is easier for the kids to pick up. So, um, I tried to get a good picture and realized that my camera was out of focus because of this bowl. So move the bowl, and look at that now, you can see it. So, I would love for you guys to try this recipe. I will link it down below. Um, but yeah, comment, let me know. If you like my recipes, hit that like button, subscribe, and have a great day.